I'm going to restore this Seiko desk clock. I picked it up at the thrift store today, and this is really heavy, a lot heavier than it may look. It costs three bucks, but it doesn't run, and it's very shaky. You can just see it wobble. First things first, let's pull this apart so we can see if it works. Seiko quartz watch. First, we'll replace the battery. We'll put a fresh one in. There we go. Working like a Next, champ. we'll tighten everything up. I noticed the screws at the top are kind of stripped. We'll remove all the screws with a number two screw. Four screws out, we can pull off. They're gonna die. be a lot more challenging since they're stripped out. By pressing on these really hard, I'm able to get them to move. We'll remove the screws. Uh, you can see that top comes off. Wow, it's really shiny. I'd like to get all of it that shiny. I'll remove the screws on the top. With the screws out, you can pull out this really heavy piece of brass. That is solid. Now we've got these thin brass caps. I was thinking it was so heavy it would have been weighted, but this is all solid brass. When I spin it, I'm able to get this thing completely off. And look at that, it is so heavy. And here's the bottom clip and the bolt down here. We'll remove the second column. This is a beautiful piece of wood, but it's not solid. You can see chips right here at the bottom. I could pull off this sticker, put it on this side and have the nice side as the front, but I think I'll just leave it as Clean is. this all up with a little bit of toothpaste. It'll work incredible. Just rubbing it in, I can feel it getting cleaner. When I wipe this up, you're gonna see it's really gonna shine. With a cotton cloth, we'll wipe it down, and you can see, look at that shine. You can see a little bit of residue still on there, so we'll keep cleaning it. If I add a little water, it's gonna cut a little Since better. Since it's cleaning up nice, I'll go ahead and pull the sticker and put it on the bottom. We'll put a little rubbing alcohol and get all that sticker goo off. If I turn it around, this will make a really nice front. The closer I look at this, I think this is a solid piece of wood. It's just a very heavy finish, and that's why it chips so deep. We'll clean up all the brass pieces. This is really gonna shine. Rinse off the polish. Wow, that cleans up real nice. Usually you don't see solid brass like this. There's a bit of a tarnish, so we'll clean it up. Somebody had fun designing this clock. We'll see how these columns clean up. The grooves are tough to get to, so I'll use this piece of wood. There's some spots on here. I don't wanna scratch it. This wood is working real nice. Rinse it off, compare it to the other one. It's fun making something shine. Here it is all shined up, and this is what it looked like before I started. It'll be interesting to see all this put back together. The back's pretty dull compared to everything else. It'll be interesting to see this one shine. Now it's almost like a mirror. The bezel almost feels plastic, which is unfortunate. I'll scrub it down, but I'm going to be real careful. I was kind of surprised, but actually this shined up real nice, but it still is a shame that they use plastic instead of brass on the bezel. And the lens is plastic, which would have been better glass. I'll shine up the last pieces and we'll reassemble everything. These are as shiny as the rest of the clock. We'll reassemble everything and see how it looks. When we assemble it, we'll make sure everything's nice and tight. There's nothing shaky now. Put the back on now, line up the holes. We'll put the damaged screws on the inside. We'll just make sure it doesn't strip anymore. Even though they're stripped, I was able to get these in pretty good. We'll just keep polishing as we go. We'll start reassembling the top. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like with these on there. I wonder why they didn't put brass screws in here. Amazing how all the holes line up. The top piece will be the hardest. I'll snug these down nice and tight. I'm sure everybody watching was saying, don't put that piece on until the end. One step forward and two steps back. At least I know it'll fit and go on snug. Now we'll put the top piece on. Because these screws are visible, they're not stripped out. That'll look a lot better. No one wants to look at a stripped out brass screw. Wow, that really does shine. Now we've got it all snugged we'll up. Set the clock to the right time and put it together. Now that is one nice looking clock.